Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here. We are back in Skyrim. And I have a choice to make. Coward. Stealing a woman from her home. For shame. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? I don't know. Honestly, all of them are uh, pretty much dicks. I don't know. I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Hmm. By the gods. When I get out of here, you're dead. Do you hear me? <laughs> dead. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men. But he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault. I Here we go. I said this, I'll see you dead. Now you're mine. <laughs> well done. Whew. <laughs> Forget that, Jazz. Okay. Blade of Woe. Taking that. The shack key. One of my arrows back. Uh, taking her hood. <laughs> bows do 20% more damage. More da oh, okay. Her bows do 20% more damage. Mine did a ton of damage to her. But, uh, anyways. You hear me? You yeah, I'm gonna let them go. Please release me. Cut my bonds. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll never speak of this to anyone. I promise. You cut these bindings this minute. You hear me? You cut these bindings right now. Well, it's about damn time. Capturing a woman from her home, keeping her bound like an animal. It wasn't me, lady. Ridiculous. Come now, my friend. Haven't we played this game long enough? Untie me, and we can all go our separate ways. Hmm. Ah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Let's the two of us just forget we ever met, hmm? Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, let's see here. Thank you, thank you. I won't tell anyone what happened here. I swear it. Oh, sweet freedom. Now that's more like it. You have my thanks, stranger. Thank you, thank you. I won't tell anyone what happened here. I swear it. I don't know who you are or what's going on here. Until but you ought time. to be ashamed oh, of yourself. Sweet freedom. Right. Until next now, time. That's more like it. So you I got nothing more to say to them. Now it's time. Let me just see what's in here. Yeah. Now it's time to get out of here. Okay. Had me worried for a second. Okay. Raining. And it appears we're in the middle of nowhere. Now, as you've seen, as you can see, I've added some add-ons. Uh, I don't have any heads-up display. That is due to an awesome add-on known as Immersive HUDs, or iHUD, uh, by uh, Gopher. Or, um, you can check out his YouTube channel at Gophers Vids. Um, and I highly recommend it if you if you want to uh, get into what the hell is that? But. Uh, 
the hell are those things? Holy cr- okay, yeah, we're in combat. Where are they going? But yeah, I left, I'm leaving immersive HUDs off. I can check the map if I want or something like that, but uh, right now this guy is just uh, running scared. He has no idea where he is. And uh, he's on the run. And he doesn't know if there's any more Dark Brotherhood in the area. So. He is trying to be very cautious here. And he doesn't know what the hell those things were. Oh god, we're detected. Protected by what? What the hell is this place? Gunther. Alright. Is there anybody here? Looks like an abandoned camp. Okay, is there anything around? The journal? Alright, let's uh... Apples? All right, let's just get out of here. That looks like a, uh, that looks like civilization over there. Civilization. Way the heck over there.
Whoops. Mud crab. Now how are we gonna get over there? I could just swim, I know, but I like to think swimming is a little harder than that. And yeah, I installed quite a few different add-ons. Um, many of which I, I forget at the moment. Basically, I was checking out the... Um, there's a show on YouTube called the uh, um, Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. It's by the same guy, uh, Gophers Vids. And it is like... His show is absolutely, by far, the best uh, Skyrim mod spotlight show of all of them. There's no question in my mind about that. What's that light from over there? And that was a bit of a frame rate jump that's oh because of the rain probably the rain's picking up oh, what the... shit No. Let's see what they have in their chest. Some gold, not bad. A healing potion. Okay, it's cold, it's wet. I believe I might have one here. Let's just see. Torch. Well, that really doesn't help at all, does it? Yeah, I d and I definitely don't think it's going to help if I get it. Uh, if I end up in the drink. Yes, I do have uh, an add-on that adds uh, much darker skies, or much darker nights, I should say. Okay. We just lost our torch. What? 
Holy crap! What? <laughs> oh god, where's this gonna start me back at? Oh my god. <laughs> you see, yes, that's Dongard, I believe. Last time I went, like, back, back there. Let's see if I can come this way and find anything. Yeah, right here I wanted to kind of uh, give the feeling of being alone and on the run. And this is the exact same way. I was completely disoriented there. You see, this, uh, this, this it works not looking at a map and not having the compass or anything like that. I didn't really find anything here, so... Pocket increase, not bad. Oh, take all, damn it. Sorry about that. Alright, let's see here. Salt. I can definitely use that. Look, civilization. I'm just going to try to get right there. Because, uh... And yes, this time I will just swim. this thing that goes to solitude it just looks like a cave I'm not gonna go that way Definitely love these uh, like street lamps. Um, th they're from an add-on called Claralux. 
it basically gives like um, a lot more uh, a lot more lighting around cities and in buildings and stuff like that. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something, in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I've been looking for you. What the? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone. Really? <laughs> Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah. Uh, books. Consider adoption. Interesting. Need a ride? Uh, can I get a guidebook? No problem. This is another new add on, add on scenic carriages. Enable scenic travel. Set horse speed. Let's set it to a run speed. Okay, disable followers. <laughs> okay. But I'm not going to take that right now. It's night. Um, he believes the um, Dark Brotherhood might be after him. And he wants uh, some rest. <laughs> It also might be good to tell someone about what happened, but um, he's not going to do that here because he doesn't want to talk to the guards of the um, of the Legion. He doesn't feel as threatened by them right now because he doesn't think that they're really after him, but he doesn't want to... Uh, um, show his face around them either. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? I'm a little interested in uh, what's going on here right now. Sorry. That's what everybody says. Right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, Talk to Ezron at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Ripton. Okay, good to know. But what's going on here? Those fools are actually fighting. Who's fighting? I thought that dude was supposed to be executed. What's he doing? I think, I expect more. I think something broke here. Wow, he's wearing that to his death? I don't use shouts, but uh, I can sell that. Oh, I see what happened. Death Hound. Dog meat. Ugh. Not his style. Well. 
Feel free to make uh, <laughs> Angeline's aromatics. And there was a dead pigeon laying here. <laughs> Need some? Amethyst. I'll take the dog collar off him, but... That must have been what happened. Uh, these dogs attacked. And, Need something? Uh, it broke that uh, little uh, live cinematic thing. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Who the hell are you? You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Depends. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Yeah, I'm, I'm no thief. Of course not. Thieves take what is precious. Thieves steal. We just take what will not be missed. What no one needs anymore. Maybe we take some weapons and stop a few deaths. Who would call that thievery? Okay, he makes good point. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. <laughs> yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Uh... Um, yeah, I thought he meant like taking stuff from uh, people's houses where the people were dead, because uh, I don't mind really doing that, but, uh... Turn me in? For what? What crime has been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Well, look, buddy, I'm not interested. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. But I'm not going to. <laughs> now, uh... Oh, that's the chick that died. You look new. I'm new, too. I think we could be friends. The Winking Skeever. This sounds like a place that I need right now. Wow, no music. If you need a good rumor or two, I think I... Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Yeah, heard any rumors? People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Hmm. Well, I just need a room right now. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let's 
See, that's a lot better of music to play instead of that annoying freaking um, music that I always hear. Place seems a lot more atmospheric. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yes, thank you. Now, let's see here. It's four o'clock in the morning. Why would they put food in here if it's not for eating? You know what though? Five o'clock in the morning. Going to sleep for maybe four hours because, uh, yeah, didn't get much. Uh, this guy's not going to be able to sleep very easily after the day he had. Now. He just wants to maybe uh, sell off a few things and get out of town. You know you can afford a septum or two. They say if a vampire so much as scratches you, you'll turn into one. <laughs> better not be true. Angeline's aromatics. What do I get the feeling? Good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I thought I could have swore I seen her dead outside. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Uh Um He's afraid to answer that. Oh well. It was a long shot. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Not really, but uh I have a ton of stuff here, and I don't need all of it. Alright, let's see, we don't use poisons. Uh, don't use conjuration spells or destruction. Uh, okay, I'll keep that. Don't use two anti weapons. Not an enchanter. Invisibility might be interesting. Potions of haggling. <laughs> no, I'll get rid of them. Uh, no magic. Don't use restoration spells. Or st 
and that's pretty good. Poisons. These are all poisons. She has tons of. Or wait, I'm not. I'm. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me um, reload right here. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> fail. Epic fail. Give a holler if you have any questions. You're a traveler, correct? <sighs> have you been to White Run? Oh well. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? No, I'm interested in selling you potions. No, no, no wonder. I, th I, th <laughs> I knew there was way too many potions there. I was like, where did I pick up all these? <laughs> uh, actually, I think I'm going to keep all these. Um, but oh, garlic and salt pile. Oh, I'm keeping that too. Um, in fact, do you have any salt pile? There, alright, and, no, okay, that's all I want, uh, Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Yeah, I'm getting weird lighting effects here. Ah. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? All right, let's get you out of here. Jeez, I didn't even know. Bits and pieces. Adventurers were supposed to look tough. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Does he look Must like a, a very large son. boy? I bet my papa could beat you up. I get to help mother with the shop. I used to help papa too, until I tried to use the forge. Sure, hmm. whatever you say. You Bye. Got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like my Viren. Please, feel free to look around. Welcome. Look around. We've got everything you could want in life. At least, that's what Virend always tells me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Treasures, eh? Well, let's see. Actually, before I continue, is there anything here? Nah, uh, nothing of value and nothing really weighing any. This guide is one gold are you serious or one it weighs one pound um, oh yeah that's my helmet anyways oh yeah the shroud Blade of Woe. Yeah, let's uh, let's sell that. And that's going to be it for here. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Whoops, wrong door. Delight. Another charming customer. Right. 
Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. Okay, the sarcasm is getting annoying. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. <laughs> Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Take a look. Okay. Nothing really here that I see of interest. Here, take this ring though. Finally. some gold for a veteran oh, dead body. <laughs> the finest fish oh. body. papa says i won't see rob there are more but he wouldn't tell me why not ooh gold <laughs> yeah, uh, someone should clean this up, you know. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Not really. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Take a look. Oh. Elven gear, nice. Nothing here that I can see that's worthwhile. Steel club. Steel katana. Wooden club. Mighty steel greatsword. Iron battle axe of wariness. Red guard dagger. These are all from an add-on called the uh, Immersive Armors add-on, or the Immersive Weapons add-ons, which is made by the same guy that makes the Immersive Armors add-on. And I'm going to keep both of these, and in fact, Return let me just see what I can make armor. here. Uh, My never rests. Wood. I can make staffs and stuff now, that's cool. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Loads of uh, stuff. Oh yeah, these new types of arrows. This is pretty cool. I don't know why uh, 15 rope arrows Costs firewood and an iron ingot. And these all just uh, require iron arrows. But, uh. I'm gonna make some of these. Just because I have, like, tons of arrows as it is. And I thought I could make a fire arrow as well. 
Yeah, right here. But I need firewood to do that. What happened? The water arrows put put out light sources. They'll put fires out and stuff, which I, I don't really like. I don't know too. I don't know about that. But dark cowl. Damn Building materials and auxiliary armors. Maker arrows. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one too. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of new stuff you can make in, in this now. But and tons of stuff here and yeah these different like satchels and stuff like that and carrying cases and everything those are actually uh, those will actually up your carrying capacity so I don't know if I want to use them yet or not maybe I don't know I'm looking for something I might be close to making here. See what I can get from this guy here. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yeah, he's not gonna have what I need. Might take that off him though. I think there's Return. a uh, you need arms or armor. Life or <laughs> I 
<laughs> well then. Fletcher. Or as I like to call them, like they should have like hunting supplies here too and stuff. Hello and welcome, my friend. True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of war. I need some arrows that can take down a dragon. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. No, he just has like bows and arrows. He probably has some pretty sweet bows here, though. And arrows from the looks of it. That looks nice. What's the one that I'm using? Hunting bow. You know what? I kind of like the hammer fell bow. Here, you can have my uh, fine hunting bow. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Okay. I have some people around here. Maybe someone here might have. As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. I thank you. Plenty of fresh fish for you. See for yourself. Salt piles. Yeah, I'll take them all. These are troubled times. Be on your guard, I'm afraid huh? I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later at the Temple of the Divines. Blessed are those who worship, Straight from the for they true grace. Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice. So, would you like a tune? No. Someone should seriously clean all this up. It's not much to ask. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. Thank you. All right, now I'm gonna switch something out here. No longer gonna use this silly hat. Man, I got this bad boy.
it's a little better anyways. so clear in Skyrim. One can see forever. Okay, why can't I talk to these people? Oh, wait. Yes, because of that add-on. They don't trust anybody that's in, like, a shrouded hood. Something that can hide your identity, because they think you're going to, like, steal from them or do something bad. Perfect. Oh, this is this, the type of stuff that I want, but I don't know how much I need. Uh, deer hide. Let me see here. Ice wool pelts. I'm wasting a lot of money here, but I have enough. <laughs> Cow hides? Goat hide. I don't think I'm gonna need a goat cloak. <laughs> I think May I should be able to make what I need to make with this stuff. Some come to buy. Fortunately, I need to go back inside. Hajit shows no mercy to thieves. Can rain. Ow. Yes, um, one of the add-ons, if you look up in the sky like that when it's raining, Every now and then you'll get hit in the eye with with a raindrop. Somewhat interesting, anyways. It's nothing, uh, nothing major. It's just one of those small little details. Good evening. I'm Pantia Aetia, the master vocalist. Um, excuse me for just one, or wait, no, it's over here, actually. Sorry, you can go back to that. Um, no, not this one. Here we go. Um, oh, come on. No fox pelt. Wait, four wolf pelts. Ah. Looks like I'm going to need to kill a snow fox. Damn it. This is an add on called uh, Winter is Coming. Uh, it's basically cloaks done in the style of. Uh, uh, what's it called? Of, um, uh, awesome show. 
Anyone? I forget what it's. How can I forget no this? Oh my god! What can I, I feel you? like my geek level has just uh, went down tremendously. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yes, he's not gonna have it. Return anytime you need arms or armor. My four. Game of Thrones, that's it. <laughs> God, I feel Just terrible. Just arrive in the city? Is it true what they say that there are dragons about? Food, experience, and a roof over my head in the finest city in Skyrim. If money's all you hold dear, then you end up like Jari Ra, plague of the city. Captain Aldis can't prove it, but that Argonian is up to no good. I like you. <laughs> no man is a match for a dragon. Buying one of our blades wouldn't hurt your chances, though. May your sword feast on Stormcloak flesh. Yeah. I'm kind of the other way, buddy. Arms or armor you need, see Bayrand in Castle Dower. I used to be an adventure, huh? Nothing, buddy. I just don't want to listen to your story. <laughs> I've heard that way too many times. The road makes this one really. I welcome you, friend. You seriously don't have any more pelts? No ice wolf pelts? Co coffee beans. <laughs> We'll take a look at some of the uh, weapons here. <laughs> Wooden sword. All right. I hope Damn that it. you will come to do business with us again. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. May the sun keep you warm, even in this land. All right. It's time we get out of here. We basically feel like we're in the heart of the enemy here. So I can take you to any of the hold capitals. This is going to be the end of this episode. Where do you want to go? We are heading south, my friend. Uh, let's go to White Run, I guess. Sit back and enjoy the ride. The 
plan. And away we go. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I freaking love this kind of stuff. Actually, like, just uh, hitching a ride like this. And not needing to... Uh, and, like, just being able to sit back and enjoy the ride. But... That's going to be it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'm going to continue the next one right now. So until next time, guys, have a good one.